Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing with you some of the most useful and amazing tricks from Newton's laws of motion. <clears throat> you know, shortcut tricks are really very important for cracking the exam. Why? Because if you go on solving the problems in a regular way, most of the problems should have to be solved in a regular way. But there will be many problems given to you in the question paper which can be solved just by using some simple shortcut tricks. Alright? By using the shortcut tricks, you can save a lot of time. Time management plays a very important factor in our success in the exams. Whether you take any exam, whether NEET, JEE, AIMS, JIPMER, okay? Anyways, AIMS, JIPMER are all combined in NEET. I'm just telling you an example, alright? Any exam, let it be any exam, time management plays a very major role in cracking the exam, alright? Okay, let's start the content. Imagine I have taken a frictionless surface and have placed a 5 kg block. How much? 5 kg block. And I have applied a 10 Newton force. I am dragging it. I am dragging it. Now, this is frictionless surface. If they ask you the acceleration, what is acceleration? Force divided by mass. Am I right? Force divided by mass. What is the force? 10 Newton. Mass is 5 kg. Now, if we divide it, you will be getting the acceleration 2 meter per second squared. Alright, now, I will just do some little changes in the system. Now, imagine I will cut this block, okay? I will just put a cut in this block and I will divide the block in 3 kg and 2 kg of masses. Imagine, again I am taking the frictionless surface. This is a 3 kg block, alright? and to, uh, what is remaining in 5 kg if, have, if I have cut it 3 kg 2 kg will be remaining so 2 kg block now these two blocks I have connected each other by using a very strong adhesive or very strong glue so that they do not separate now again I am applying the same 10 Newton force even in this situation okay even in this situation your acceleration will not change your acceleration will be 10 meter per second square all right Okay, again a little more changes I'll be doing in this system. Okay, in this setup I'll be doing some changes. 3 kg block. Let me take 3 kg block and 2 kg block. Now I'll be connecting this 2 block with some very extremely small threads. Very small threads. Okay, very small threads. Very small threads. Alright. And I'll be applying a 10 Newton force as usual. Alright. Now, even in this situation, if you go on calculating the acceleration of the system, you will be getting the same acceleration. 2 meter per second square. Alright. Are you getting my point? Even in this situation, you have 2 meter per second acceleration. In this situation, when you are sticking the both blocks with very strong adhesive glue, we will be getting the acceleration 2 meter per second even while connecting the two blocks with very extremely small thin, thin threads you will be getting acceleration 2 meter per second now observe carefully i will do some further more changes in this setup all right this is 3 kg block this is a 2 kg block now i have connected these two blocks by using a thin string or thin threads now uh, what is the acceleration what is the acceleration? Even in this situation, definitely we will be getting the acceleration 2 meter per second square. But in this situation, they will be asking you, in examination, they will be asking you to calculate the tension. The tension is acting in this way. This is the tension. Alright. They will be asking you to calculate the tension. Now, we know that this system is moving with an acceleration of 2 meter per second. And on 2 kg block, we have applied 10 Newton of force. With 10 Newton of force, which is applied on 2 kg, this is moving with 2 meter per second acceleration. But even 3 kg of mass is also moving with acceleration 2 meter per second. Now, which is which force is acting on 3 kg block, which is moving it with 2 meter per second acceleration? It's tension force. All right. So for the tension which is acting on 3 kg block to move with 2 meter per second acceleration is as simple as you calculate force. Now, you need acceleration 2 meter per second and mass of the block is 3 kg. 
so just multiply f is equal to mass into acceleration in a similar way tension is equal to mass into acceleration here so 3 to the 6 newton okay now what we have to imagine what we have to know here is in 10 newton of force which we applied on the total system 6 newton is used as a tension to pull this 3 kg block with 2 meter per second acceleration and the remaining 4 4 newton is acting on 2 kg block to move it with 2 meter per second acceleration all right are you getting my point so in this way this can this concept can be applied in various blocks in various block system okay i'll just take an another example for better understanding all right now imagine i have a block this is a okay 10 kg block now i'll be connecting it with another block with a string let's take this block as uh, 20 kg okay 20 kg now suppose i am pulling the system with 60 newton of force all right now first calculate the acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is equal to force by mass 60 add at the uh, at the masses 20 plus 10 30 so acceleration is 2 meter per second square now if they ask you to calculate the tension okay the tension now what we have to do the tension we know that this total system is moving with the acceleration 2 meter per second even this block is moving with 2 meter per second even this block is also moving with 2 meter per second now in order to move this 10 kg block with 2 meter per second acceleration the force needed is 2 into 10 20 newton so in the 60 newton 20 newton is distributed or 20 newton is acting as a tension to pull 10 kg of block 10 kg of mass with acceleration 2 meter per second remaining 20 minus uh, 60 minus 20 is 40 40 newton is acting on 20 kg block to move this block with acceleration 2 meters per second all right so in this way very easily just by using the concept just by using the shortcut trick you can calculate the tension you can calculate the acceleration as well as if they give you the tension you can calculate force also just by looking at this and briefly analyzing the concept briefly analyzing the problem you can solve any problem very easily all right so thanks for watching do like share and subscribe it motivates me a lot guys